Greetings. So I, I figured I'd come back here, even though know, it's been only a few days since I last played. We'll do some reaction recordings, but don't have the time to work out various kinks. Can't wait for standard to be a thing. I'd like to test it out. I'm thinking if I ever truly get into gaming in the future, I'll probably need a separate monitor or something. Ronin Strike. Alright. Let's see. Oh goodness, I'm this low. I'm trying to get this over with it now. Magic cards have come out or are revealed. Oh wow, quite a few. And apparently Jace is mono blue. Oh well. This is going to be interesting, especially in Commander, perhaps. So... Uh, this new Jace, Unraveler of Secrets. Two blue, three anything, five loyalty, plus one, st Scry one, draw a card. That's nice. Minus two. Return a creature to its owner's hand. That is very good. And then minus eight, you get an emblem that, that states the first time your opponent casts a spell during each turn, whether it be yours or theirs, counter it. I might make a mono blue deck. Oh goodness, you're pathetic. Perfect. Well played.
Wow, I'm this low. Ooh. So apparently there's a black red legendary creature in this set, which I'm very happy about and will definitely include. So for uh, Shadows of Renistrad, with the red and blue cards, there's a whole lot of discard effects. And so, I'm thinking, you know what? Interesting tactic. I'll go for it. This one just makes it all the better. One red and black and one of anything else for a 3-3 body. Vampire Knight. Interesting combination. Woo, War Golem. Flying makes sense, vampire. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may discard a card. So it gives you madness activation. Then put plus one plus one counter on the creature that you put on the field just now. It gains haste. And it becomes a vampire. There are plenty of cards where you discard them, pay X amount of mana to get them onto the battlefield. You can almost infinite loop your madness, or at least infinite value. My. Goodness, I want that. It seems to be that's the latest of the new cards. But hey, that's... I'll, I'll take it. Ooh, seems to be a few more. Actually... Hmm, there's one trend that I'm noticing, which I'm not too big of a fan of, is there's cards where they require specific amounts of cards to be played in order to activate various effects, and the opponent is is easily able to manipulate that to where it almost has no effect and I, I'm not liking this as a mechanic hmm
I really don't. Ugh, this is a this is an okay hand mid game. I'd say. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Tinker's Blade, or Tinker's Attack Blade Flurry. And Mortal Coil. Or not. Sure, sure. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Poor thing. Oh no. I really don't oh wait, darn the seven the thing. <clears throat> darn you. And that'll cost nine. That'll cost ten. Oh, No, that that'd be a waste. It's times like these when I'm glad Cursed Blade exists. Yeah, it does have a cool uh, golden artwork. Go ahead, try to deal 10 damage. I win. Wait, almost. Y almost. One, two. Yes. Thank you, Holder Act. Hearthstone cards. I'm noticing that, or at least from what I've heard, they're trying to make Kethan Dex, which is apparently the proper pronunciation, a big thing. Like, uh, the latest good card they've released. Is it basically a chillin' yeti? If your kitten has ten or more attack, you gain plus five health to the, to that minion. So a four mana four ten. Not bad, not bad. However, the four ten is minimal likelihood 
at the beginning of the game, which is when you would need the four mana cards. Granted, you could run, um, I can't remember the name, but the, the four mana discard your hand to gain ten. I, I could see it working in that. Or at least tested. You're not me. That is very correct. I am not you. I've heard that they're going to be putting out at least, I think it was 16 cards that revolve around the Cuthin guy. I, one thing I don't like about trading card sets, at least when, when it's normal for them to have a variety of cards in there, I don't like it when they hammer in... Didn't you heal yourself? Oh. Okay. You're a... You're a young priest, I guess. Alright, I'm safe next turn. Uh, I don't like when they force... To go... Oh. What? There goes my change of plan somewhat. I was going to prep Sprint, but then the Light Ward and got major boosted. Yeah, I don't like when they when they force decks around one specific thing so heavily. I mean, go ahead and heal yourself. That's useless right now. One thing that I've noticed, especially after the Grand Tournament and whatnot, Goblins vs. Gnomes was the most, was, I think, the most pivotal deck, or collection that we received. That and, perhaps, Black Rock Mountain. Eh, I guess maybe uh, League of Explorers, too, considering Reno, everything became a thing. Go ahead and put out a light bulb. I have pl I've had plenty of values already. Holy Nova, I'm much better with. Thank you for letting me win. Yeah.
I really don't care at this point. I really don't care. It's not gonna... Oh, he, he's just showing me what, what his hand is. I get it. I get it. I didn't even... No. You didn't let me be, um... Destroy them all! Destroy them all! Ooh, 125 out of 500. That is... One-fourth. Alright. 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 Actually, how is my deck? Interesting. Such a shame. Let's see. Anything I would want to take out. I'll say all these are fine. Uh, Fan of knives, I want to like. I want to. But one damage isn't. Like, one damage AoE to me is mediocre. Holy Nova, I am perfectly fine with. Even ignoring the healing factor. Because that's two damage across the board. One day was just pitiful. I mean, heck, Shiv is a moonfire with draw card. I, I, I don't appreciate it. Anyways, back to where we were. Stabby stab, let's go. Oh, I'm looking at a one of the new spoilers for Shadows of Ravenstrad that I, I guess skimmed over because it's in a foreign language, and apparently it's pretty all right, especially in a control burn deck. It costs one blue and five of anything. Sorcery. Put a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token, or maybe blue-black control, onto the battlefield for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. Each. Granted, it'd be more powerful in a blue-red, but uh, for the control aspect and the zombies, yeah, blue black I can I can understand. Some warm control, perhaps maybe. I don't like you. I don't like you. Um, wait, is this Death Rattle Hunter? Or, blah, blah, blah. Wow, that was a long time ago. Death Rattle Priest.
Ah, McFlynn, you're, wait, McFeen, McFlynn, McFeen, oh, come on, where's my assassinate, I need my assassinate, sap's good enough, If this is Shadow Priest, I can understand Zombie Show. Okay, someone explain to me the purpose of Elise as a deck staple. I've seen her a few times in Reno. Occasionally, control warrior, various types of priest. But what's the purpose? I really don't get it. I, I like her flavor. I just don't understand how you build a deck around her. You just slap her in if you have nothing else to do. I mean, I could see her working in, I'd say, generic hero power classes, such as Druid, Navy Warlock, Hunter, and definitely Priest. And I suppose Warrior, but mainly because like, at the stage of the game when you use her, your hero power is actually effective. I'm looking at you, Shaman and Rogue. Rogue's, pa Rogue's hero power can't outlast. All right, that's why I try to get quick games. How ironic. <laughs> Although Holy Nova kills. Yep, Death Battle Priest. An interesting concept, I'll, I'll, I'll agree to that. Yep, Holy Nova kills. Call it. it. Oh, hello, darling. Oh, can't I have Wind Fury just this one turn? I do feel like Magic the Gathering's variant. Ooh, ooh, oh, that hurt. Magic the Gathering's variant on Wind Fury is a bit more broke. Ish. For those who don't know, oh, hello. Early stone play magic. There's a thing called double strike, which means 
you when you're attacking with your your creature, your minion, your attack gets dealt once just you and then a second time or then after that attack goes through then you both attack at the same time. It's weird but it works. Not worth assassinating. Now that I think about it, Azure Drake's a pretty good card. Because you're paying two to draw a card and three for a four four body. I don't value spell damage too much unless it's two or higher. That was a mistake. Forgot to combo that. Oh well. Fair enough. Ooh. One idea that I'd be oh that I'd be interested in is hmm. Is maybe this could be a tavern brawl, but you pick your hero power of the nine classes, and then you make a deck of thirty using any cards you want. I feel like that would be interesting. And as I said, let's keep it to be a tavern brawl. Because, well, it'd be weird and wild or standard. Maybe you can make it a third dis distinguish and whatever. Call it bonkers.
That was an interesting combo. I like it. Huh. I think I am going to the Hearthstone too. Because I've still got my Eviscerate. Yep. There we go. Have I used Sprint yet? I don't think so. He is holding on to his leftmost card. And I don't know why. Thank you. Thank you. Eight, bring in nine, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen. Yep. Oh, I love you, Bling Chon. Bling Chon. Like, underrated. Underrated by far. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. I'll see you guys next time. I'm in a very good mood. For once.